turn things over there now that the paint has dried and um, you can see that there's some places I missed and that's usually the way I go about it. I don't like to get every single uh, bit of the part painted like you see when I turn them over it's a bit skinny down in some places so I turn everything to where I can see it then and uh, I give it a painting so I'm also going to take off these steering arms because I had them off and they're a bit grubby in behind so um, yeah I'm going to take them off and I'll, I'll uh, be painting these as well I might even spray them I might be able to just mask off the rest or brush painting would be perfect anyway they're well hidden it's just to get the paint on them so that is where we're at so far lashed apart landed so when I paint that grey I'll be able to tap in the seal and um, I might even be able to start fitting the, the brake rods these lads here through there when the whole lot's painted but we'll take it one step at a time so the next step is to get another coat on all the parts now that I've um, turned them over and turned them around all right I'm going to second coat these of my compressor up to 100 psi so that should be enough to get me sprayed Run some thinner through it first. So the paint turns down very low there at the start, so I have to go over that three times. Plenty of those track rods because they're going to get a bit of they'll be probably gripping them with something as I'm adjusting so I'll uh, paint them after I'm happy with it and have them set. don't mind coming around the third time anyway. I prefer to take my time and build this up rather than having it running off each part having too much on it. Yeah, so, just to learn how much to mix. so I'll turn on the compressor and get the air pressure up again and uh, 
we'll do a little refill on this. Looking good. Take a look and see if anywhere is missed. Okay, I think that's it. I prefer to just put on a little bit less and build it up. As I said, the nerve to be running off. So we'll leave it there for now and we'll have a look at these parts. And if I need to correct down something, I'll, I'll show you. So I'm going to get going here. I just tried quickly there. This is matched paint, so we don't know what the paint code or what paint was used on the tractor. So I've got this matched, so I'll have the paint turned right down. And I'm going to turn the air up. So I'm just going to turn it down a bit, so I'm just going to slowly build it up. Thinners in, and I'm going to get going again. I'm good to go here. We're up to 100 psi, so I turn it off at that. Again, I have the paint down uh, turned low, so I can build it up slowly. And I have that hand covered, so it might look like it is going in. I'm not a spray painter by profession or anything. I've done very little. So I just take my time. I don't have the paint turned up too high.
now. First coat done, I had a little bit left in the gun, so I did do a bit of a track rod, but for what harm? I mean, these faces here are going to be sanded, so, so I'm not fussed about that. That's why, that's why there's a bit of, uh, they're not covered completely. Happy with how the air in the filter came out. Oh, I see I missed them two behind. That's no bother. I'll be doing a second coat anyway. So, uh, yep. I'm ready now to tap in the seal in there. And uh, I think these came out well. It's hard to get in around the springs and stuff, but the shop blaster, of course, cleaned them out well. So that's it. That's that's uh, all I'm going to do this evening because I let that dry. I don't want to rise any dust or anything. We've got a nice few little jobs done on the tractor itself today. So, um, yeah, we're... We're tipping along nicely now.